Good morning. Clayton and I are outside today. He really wants to get the three-wheeler running. It idles, but it doesn't run for a few seconds. But that's about it. So we're gonna keep him from hammering on cars here and help him get the three-wheeler running. It was his, here it is, his grandpa's three-wheeler. It's a plastic hammer, but don't hammer the cars, buddy. You wanna hammer the chicken coop. Chicken? Yep, fix it. Go ahead and fix it. Let's see, here's a nail right here. He's a go-getter. Open it. The chickens have to stay in there right now. They have to stay in there right now. They have to stay in there right now. Boy, you're really hammering. All done? Is, what do you have? What's this? What is it? Toy. A toy? It's a hammer. Hammer. Good job. So I think we'll pull this into the driveway. Just gonna pull it back here a little bit. And this has been sitting in storage for a long time. Oh, I think Dad's probably watching right now. I'd say three years. That's long enough. It's in gear. Do you want to take this for a ride? Uh -huh. Yeah, oh, we're in gear. All right, I think we're in neutral. Yeehaw, right? You wanna go for a ride? We gotta take it apart. We gotta fix this. We're gonna fix it, okay? We're gonna take the seat off. Can you say seat? Seat. Fender. Good job. One. That's done. This is a tank. Tank. Yep, we're gonna take it apart, okay? All right, buddy. Fuel line's pretty hard. I don't know if it's gonna bend much, so I'm gonna take it off right at the field petcock. You fixing it? Yeah. I gave him that plastic hammer for a reason. Don't get it all dirty. Yeah, it doesn't need to go in the water. You can go grab uh, something to get that fuel line off. Got some wood for fire season. Let's see. Right angle and needle nose. Yep. Hey, Mooser. All right, I got these tools to fix it, okay? Okay, pick up your hammer. What, what you doing? You're done with it. Dad put some custom foot pegs on this, really heavy duty. He also put a custom shifter on it, it's IMS shifter. I'll help you. All right, can you put this, uh, put this by the door, please? Okay. Thank you. It's moving, so we should be able to get it right off of there. Should we take the tank off? Mm. All right, we'll put your coat right there. Sound good? Okay. Fives. Daddy. Happy daddy. Yes, please do help me. Help me, help me. Oh my, okay, so we got some connections here that we gotta take off. Oh, don't touch that, okay? Because <laughs> we don't want to drain all the fuel out. Yeah, hopefully these are 12, huh? Look at that, they're not. I'll be right back, okay? We'll just make a big pile of tools. Keep fixing it. There we go. This tank doesn't have any leaks. Underneath looks good. I don't know what the inside looks like. Bird poop, it looks a little rusty. I can hear Clayton messing with stuff in the garage. Stay. I better go check out, see what he's doing. He brought back his hammer and he brought back the breaker bar, believe it or not. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Hit the ground with it, something like that. There you go, buddy. Good job. Be right back. That is not ready yet. It's broken. Yeah. Look. See that? There's no wheel. Say, wheel's missing. Let's go fix Papa's three-wheeler. This way. Clayton, like, 
likes to get picked up while we go from the garage to the wheeler out here in the driveway. It's got the DG exhaust from Dennis Kirk. Looks like we need a Phillips. Then we might be able to use a tin if we have a tin. We'll get that carburetor off of there. Get it working in short order. Whoa, man, you're stuck. You want help? Huh? Where are you going to go? Huh? Gonna run over something. You're welcome. Push the gas. No, don't go backwards. Oh, go the other way. Shift it. There you go, go. Turn, turn. Oh boy. Well, we charged it up. Should have some power to go through that grass. I can hear him yelling for me. Must have got stuck. What do you guys like to do on your days off? Trying to go forward. Shift it the other way. Shift it again. Go, go, go. You gotta go that way, buddy. Turn. Here we go, let's take this off. Here we go, buddy. And here we go, guys. Got the tank hooked up. Everything's back on except for the seat and the plastic. Put everything together over there in the Mazda. Yep, it's all gone. It's gonna fire up. Will it run? Absolutely. Will it stay running? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I've just got one fuel line going, which is the same as before. I have a fuel filter on it. You've heard him, he wants a ride. We're gonna drive it around just a little bit. We'll see if he wants to go for a spin. Here we go. Let's turn the fuel system on, see if we got any leaks in that carburetor. Zero leaks so far. Oh, did you hear that? It fired and I barely even touched it. So let's choke it here. gonna go back apart not everything but the carburetor I had the floats on upside down so no gas going in now we got that dirty gas going in and it's gonna fire right up maybe not like the throttle. 